few months. Healthcare providers are getting ready to give COVID vaccines to children ages six months to five years old. Dallas on Tavares joins us from the Kapiolani Medical Center with more on what parents need to know. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, everyone. Yes, it's a big milestone when it comes to this pandemic experience that we've been living with. And here joining us on Wake Up Today is Dr. Monica Singer, who's a pediatrician here at Kapiolani Medical Center. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for just hanging out with us and providing so much insight on this. We really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. And for those viewers who are just joining us here, let's do a quick recap on everything that we touched on so far. For this specific age group, when it comes to the dose amount, it's one tenth of the other age groups that we've seen in the past. Correct. For the Pfizer vaccine, it's the littlest dose for our little kids, and it's a tenth of the dose or three micrograms. It's a three dose primary series. So that means they get dose one, and three weeks later, they will get dose two, followed by eight weeks for dose three. There's a lot of opposition to this, saying parents saying that they don't want their child to get the COVID 19 vaccine at this time, or they don't get sick um, as as uh, harsh as maybe other age groups. Is there anything that you want to say when it comes to setting the record straight based on your experience? Absolutely. Unfortunately, that myth is floating around out there, and there's a lot of polarization around this topic. But um, at the end of the day, we're taking care of a lot of kids that have COVID-19 infection. I've seen kids that have not only severe acute COVID-19 infection and have to be hospitalized for that, but we see kids with multi-system inflammatory syndrome or MISC that have to be hospitalized for that. And that can occur two to four weeks after you've had acute infection and recovered from it. We don't know which kids are going to um, suffer these sequelae. Uh, I've also had children that come in with long COVID and having complaints of chest pain or shortness of breath, um, difficulty concentrating, hair loss, and again, these are kids that may have had even mild disease, re recovered, and then are suffering these longer term health consequences. And we know that the vaccine is again, safe and effective, and we, the data does show that it can prevent some of these sequelae. Thank you so much, doctor. And of course, if there are any more updates when it comes to what is happening this week, you can visit our website at kh2.com. And also, if you are interested in looking into getting a COVID-19 vaccine for your child as young as six months old, you can visit hawaiipacifichealth.org forward slash COVID-19 vaccine. They'll be having events throughout this weekend. Reporting out here at the scene, Dallas Navarro's KH2 News, working for Hawaii. Dallas, thank you. 738 right now over on Maui, a murder.